everybody, I'm Natalie Willis, the Baby Sleep Trainer. I wanna talk a little bit about how to set up a perfect nursery. Now I'm gonna right off the bat tell you I have a totally sweet freebie on this subject. So I'm gonna to touch on the things I talk about in that awesome document that you can get, but also be sure that you download it because it's pretty fantastic. Anyways, first thing, less is more. You do not, you can have a beautiful nursery. In fact, most of the time when I have my consultations with my clients one-on-one -on -one and we're talking via video conference, I'll start my video consultation out talking to them in their living room, their kitchen table, wherever, and then they'll pick up their phone or their laptop and they'll walk over to the nursery and their homes are beautiful, but their nurseries are always amazing. And I remember my nursery for my first baby was the only room in the house that ever fully got decorated. And that's fine. Just remember that it's not really important for your baby to be able to sleep well. They could actually be sleeping in a well-ventilated walk-in closet if that's the space that you have for them to sleep alone, and that would be okay. So don't worry so much about those sort of external parts of their nursery. You wanna focus a lot on, first, safety. So making sure that they're sleeping in a completely empty, totally barren, 100% flat, empty crib. Am I emphasizing the empty part? It's really important. Mattress, well-fitted sheet, the baby, nothing else. Not a lovey, not a, um, you don't want any mesh or padded bumpers, you don't want any mobiles, you don't want the camera touching the edge, you want it to be completely and totally empty, right? Um, if your child is getting older to the point where you think they might be able to start to sit up soon, so maybe between say six and nine months, you wanna drop that mattress down so it's the lowest level that it could possibly be so that they don't stand up and sort of topple out of it. Not that I've ever known that to happen, but that's always something I worry about. Um, you wanna make sure that their environment is conducive to sleep. This is usually having to do with darkness and white noise. And lastly, I don't think any nursery is complete without a video monitor. Even if your baby is right across the hall, I don't think babies are ever truly safe unless you can watch them at any time. I've had a couple of not so awesome situations where clients haven't used monitors and then they haven't realized that their baby is crying out, not because they're trying to figure out how to fall asleep, but because maybe they've gotten a limb uh, stuck in a slat or something like that. And we wanna know, we wanna know what's going in there. So make sure that you've got a camera set up, but again, camera should always be on the wall or on a piece of furniture. You definitely do not want it touching the crib. And I know that might be the best view. Anyways, if you have any questions about the nursery, uh, you can download that freebie because the answer will probably be in there or you can put it in uh, the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.